hello uh, dear students uh, welcome back to our discussion on air conditioning uh, in many of the air conditioning uh, equipments or air conditioning uh, working we need to encounter uh, mixing of different air streams okay so uh, we need to uh, for the for example in uh, when we when we are in installing uh, air condition we are when we are going for inst uh, installing an air conditioner to a living uh, space we may have to uh, mix uh, some amount of uh, outside air with the in, uh, inside air uh, or we need to uh, exit or we we may have we may have to throw out uh, throw out uh, uh, or outlet some of the used air which is uh, present inside the room okay so uh, in many instances we have to encounter this mixing of different air streams so uh, now let us uh, discuss how we can represent uh, that mixing of air streams in a psychrometric chart and what all are the uh, technical uh, idea behind this uh, or how we can apply our psychrometric uh, idea for this uh, mixing of air streams so uh, here with the, here we are showing uh, uh, the stream 1 Uh, one stream of uh, uh, air uh, getting mixed with uh, a second air stream which is marked as 2 okay so and uh, uh, both of this uh, first stream and second stream are combining together and flowing outward uh, as a third stream a entirely new stream that is the stream 3 okay so when we are considering this uh, the first air stream we have to consider the various psychrometric uh, uh, properties of that uh, moist air first one can be h1 the enthalpy or the heat content uh, present in that uh, first stream then ma1 what is the uh, mass flow rate of the dry air uh, ma a, a stands for um, dry air what is the uh, mass flow rate of the uh, dry air in that uh, first air stream ma1 then omega1 what is the uh, specific humidity what is the amount of water vapor associated with the unit mass uh, of dry air in that first stream that is omega 1 similarly we can have h2 the enthalpy content of the second stream ma2 the mass flow rate of the dry air in the second stream omega 2 the specific humidity associated with the, the second stream though both these streams uh, first stream and second stream will be combining together to flow to flow as a entirely new stream that is stream 3 which will be having entirely different uh, Uh, enthalpy content uh, h3 which will be having uh, specific humidity as omega 3 and the mass flow rate of the dry air will be um, ma3 then by by applying our simple uh, mathematical uh, addition uh, we can uh, sum up our or we can uh, create mathematical uh, representation for this mixing of air streams like this if you are considering the mass flow rate of dry air in the a uh, first second and th the third stream ma3 or the final mass flow rate of dry air will be the sum of the mass flow rate of dry air in the first stream ma1 plus uh, ma2 that uh, mass flow rate of dry air in the second stream so ma3 will be equal to ma1 plus ma2 so this will be our first uh, relation then if you are considering the uh, flow of water vapor associated with this uh, dry air in the respective streams so ma3 times omega 3 so how did we define this omega or uh, specific humidity it was uh, the amount of or mass of water vapor associated with the unit mass of dry air so when we are multiplying this uh, mass of dry air with omega we will be getting what the mass of water vapor so here just like we uh, uh, discussed for the case of dry air ma3 will be equal to ma1 plus ma2 the water vapor content in the third stream will be equal to water vapor content in the first stream that is ma1 times omega1 plus the mass of water vapor in the second stream that is ma2 omega2 so this will be our second uh, important relation then when we are considering the heat content the heat content in the or the enthalpy content in the uh, final uh, stream or the third stream that is ma3 times uh, h3 will be equal to ma1 h1 that is the uh, uh, enthalpy content uh, associated with the with the first stream plus 
enthalpy content associated with the the third uh, the second stream that is ma2 h2 so ma3 equal to ma1 plus ma2 ma3 omega 3 equal to ma1 omega 1 plus ma2 omega 2 and finally ma3 or h3 will be equal to ma1 h1 plus ma2 h2 so this is these, these three are the important relations which will help us to find the uh, uh, psychrometry properties like uh, uh, mass flow rate of dryer uh, specific humidities and the enthalpy contents all these three can be uh, found out by using these three relations okay then how we can represent uh, this uh, mixing of air streams in our uh, psychrometry chart so now let us consider a uh, rough uh, or a sample uh, uh, psychrometry chart uh, which will be having dryable temperature along the x axis and uh, uh, the specific humidity along the y axis so uh, let point 1 represent the condition of the first stream of air first stream of air as 1 so we can mark a point 1 uh, in the psychrometry chart uh, uh, as point 1 okay so how we can mark this point 1 uh, already we have studied uh, the how the properties of a psychrometry chart by knowing any two psychrometric uh, properties okay it can be the tribal temperature it can be the specific humidity it can be the tribal temperature and specific humidity it can be the tribal temperature and uh, enthalpy or it, it can be the enthalpy plus uh, specific humidity any two psychrometric properties of the, pro the first stream can be used to represent the point one then similarly we can mark a point two which will be representing the uh, stream 2 okay so uh, in the in this diagram uh, first stream is getting mixed with the second stream and flowing outward uh, uh, as, the, as, as the third stream so just like that uh, po uh, point 1 is representing the first stream of air uh, sec the point 2 is representing the second stream of air just to draw a line between uh, just to draw a line segment connecting the points 1 and 2 okay so this line will be representing the mixing of the air streams and in between them in in between this uh, or in this, inside this uh, uh, line segment 1 to 2 we can mark a point m okay so this point m will be representing the final mixture or the final uh, the third stream of air uh, which is the which which is uh, uh, formed due to the mixing of the stream 1 and the stream 2 so the point m here is representing the uh, third stream of uh, air which is the mixture of or which is formed out of mixing of uh, the first stream and uh, second stream of uh, air so this is how uh, we will be representing the mixing of air streams in a psychrometric chart so uh, uh, now we uh, all of you uh, draw this uh, uh, mixing of air streams and uh, try to understand uh, uh, this phenomenon uh, in our psychrometry chart so thank you we will continue with a problem on this mixing of air stream in the next uh, section thank you